Spyware Doctor Starter Edition. If you download from download.com, save the file to a location on your desktop. The download at the moment is 12.7 megabytes, which should take about 45 seconds, so it's not too long. Once the download's complete, double click the SD start, run it. Your firewall may ask you for various permissions, just give it the permission that it needs to run the program and install it. Follow the wizard through, accept the agreement. You can create a desktop or a quick launch icon and automatically install updates. Select install. and just let it run. And once it's installed it would download additional files which are usually the updates which we can check in a moment. Now once it's installed you will see that Smart Update will run and a scan of your computer. So click Finish, Smart Update, click Next now, if you want the languages, then obviously leave them ticked, but for most cases, just pick your language and go through this and remove what you don't want. When you go through these, be very careful that you only untick the language files. You need to keep all the components. Then you click next and allow the downloads to download and install. In your system tray you will have this little icon here which will show you that Spyware Doctor is there and working. When the updates are finished click finish. In the lower right hand of your screen Spyware Doctor will pop up with IntelliGuard protection. Click yes to activate this. What we'll do at the moment is stop the scan. And go to settings. If you want to run a scan on Windows Startup tick this box. Download and install updates. You have the option of notify me silently or notify about available updates or do not check. I would leave it at notify me. Choose your language. Advanced settings. IntelliGuard to detect PUPs. Leave the other two boxes ticked. History will show you a complete history of what's been started and stopped your scan settings. If you want sounds you can have them. Scan ADS, scan for rootkit hidden files. Create a restore point before removal and scan archives. Global action. You can enter your own rules here if you so wish. You can schedule it to run and quarantine will show you what's been quarantined. Now start scan we will do an IntelliScan which will scan all of these processes. So we'll scan now and I'll pause and come back to it. Now this has found three items and ten infections and this is because I import malware and then run the programs to make sure they remove it. If you expand them you can go through and find out what each is and then you decide whether to keep or whether to remove. In this case I will create a restore point before removal and fix checked. Continue removal and it will put them into quarantine. When that's done it will show you that it's completed and the time it's taken. 10 infections detected and 10 removed. What I would advise is that when you find some infections finish that and carry out it nice and easy. 
If you want more information on any malware removal tools, which are all free, visit my blog, which you can find at Free PC Security. You can Google search for that, or simply go to codajo.wordpress.com.